our entries have been uh, uploaded uh, so you have to go to the forms uh, now you have to create another form uh, for the search functionality name it as search2 okay so now you have to create the fields so let's say we want to search our CSS our data with the, with the country uh, and the destination prefix okay so the description interval and uh, rate must uh, be, be populated automatically okay so first we have to create a field called a lookup okay name it as country display type drop down and uh, <coughs> you can see that lookup options here select the form which uh, th this should be the form of the entries where we have uploaded our entries so in our case we have entries two now select the field which field you want to map with this one so we we have a country okay so that's it just click on auto complete and then create another field which we will create for for the destination prefix okay so create another lookup drop down display type drop down okay so now again you have to repeat the process entries uh, destination prefix okay so now <clears throat> you have to be careful here click on here watch a lookup field now you have to attach this field with this field so what exactly that will do so let's say if the country is uh, let's say the country is united states so if the user has selected the united states it will only show these prefixes like uh, this one this one this one and this one all the way to here it will not show any other prefixes here okay so we have to link with the country so click on here uh, so we have to uh, ref refresh it before uh, integrating it with the country okay so it should take some time to load okay so now uh, just uh, filter by lookup field which is country okay so then create another field text field this should be for for the description okay so description so now you have to go to the uh, okay so default value okay so click on here this search icon so do the same thing here entries then the destination prefix oh sorry the interval uh no it's, it's our description okay so description then uh, click on destination prefix okay so that's it uh, let's click on update so now <coughs> it's time to test our uh, our form Okay, so 
let's say we have Albania okay the destination prefix uh, for Albania is showing here now let's move with the simplest example which is United States okay so let's click on United States okay so it's loading because there are too many entries and uh, the form sometimes take time to go through the all the all the entries okay so let's uh, continue with the albania because United States has a, a very long list, so it, it was like uh, t taking too much time. So let's go with Albania, which has like limited number of uh, prefixes. So <clears throat> it's showing only the prefixes that belongs to Albania. So let's choose this one, 355, okay? So as you can see that it's uh, changing its description to Albania okay so for this prefix it's albania amc okay so for this uh, one it's like it's the same okay this prefix is belong to albania mobile okay so that's it uh, same as <coughs> same with this methodology you, you can uh, add more fields uh, like like let's say we have to add the rate okay so now let's add the rate same you do here entries rate so we have to link it with the with the dest <coughs> destination prefix click on update Let's preview it. Okay, so now <clears throat> let's use Albania. Destination prefix. It is showing the description plus the rate. So let's say choose this one. The rates are same for both. okay so this one has a different rate so it's showing the different rate okay so that's it uh, there is another way uh, to make the searchable database as well so I, I will show you in my next video i will show you the other uh, method as well which has more uh, options to customize uh, so i will i will make another video for that okay thank you